Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and if you are new, welcome. Today I want to share my post burn thoughts of Kringle's Bourbon Apple and Oud 3 Wick. I'm a lover of boozy fragrances and candles so when I saw the name of this candle I was excited to try it since I tried Bourbon Apple from Goose Creek last year and was let down at the fact that that candle only smelled like apple spice to me. I didn't get the slightest hint of bourbon or woody oak barrel scent but it did have a decent strength and throw in my open concept. When it comes to bourbon apple and oud it's not a boozy scent either but it isn't your typical fall spiced apple fragrance and while it's in the same wheelhouse as dreadful dolly from the halloween collection and they share some of the same scent notes they are two different woody apple fragrances. As much as I used to despise red apple fragrances during the fall I'm enjoying them this year and discovering that I actually don't mind the different variations of fall apple scents. I feel like the complexity and authenticity of Kringle's apple fragrances really got me on board with broadening my apple horizons. This is one of those moments where I do feel Kringle could have gotten a little more creative with the three wick label design. The candle is called Bourbon Apple and Oud. We could have gotten a cute apple design for this label but it is what it is. Thank goodness I don't purchase based off of label designs or get hung up over labels. It does look fine when the candle is lit so I'll give Kringle that. Definitely keep the painted labels, just have them make sense when it comes to matching it with the scent we're getting. The scent story states the irresistible allure of gently spiced bourbon wraps around crisp golden apple and warm peppered woods enhanced with sweet tonka and sugared amber. We have top notes of apple and wood, mid notes of bourbon and sweet, and a base of tonka and amber. I've noticed that Kringle loves pairing wood and amber notes in their fragrances and when they do it doesn't always lean in a perfumey amber direction. To my nose Kringle's amber notes lean sweet, warm, and resinous when paired with their wood notes which gives the fragrance a more authentic and realistic wood scent. While this candle doesn't smell like an alcohol despite having bourbon as a mid note it does add a sophisticated and elevated scent profile to this nuanced apple fragrance. If you don't like boozy fragrances then you don't have to be scared off by that listed scent note. On cold and while the candle is lit I mainly get an authentic sweet resinous woody red apple fragrance. The sweetness from the Tonkin Amber makes this a warm and cozy fall scent while providing a bit of outdoorsiness from the lovely and well blended oud note. If you enjoy wood notes, especially oud, and you enjoy red apple scents, then you may enjoy this candle. I've been burning this candle for four to five hours without a hurricane, and I'm currently on my fifth burn, and this candle isn't giving me any issues. There's no soot, no murky wax, no high flames, and no issues with the wick, so we're good to go as far as the burn performance. I've been enjoying this candle in my open concept area and I have no trouble smelling it throughout my downstairs from being placed in my dining room, so it nicely fills up my entire open concept well. This candle falls into the strong medium range without the use of a hurricane so I rated a 7 out of 10 in my open concept. I'm loving this beautiful woodsy red apple blend so I find it to be repurchase worthy. Aside from loving the fragrance the burn quality is great as well as the strength and throw. So far I'm adding this along with warm and toasty and pumpkin rum toddy on my must repurchase list. If any of you guys have this candle leave me a comment down below and I will catch you all in the next video.